The Cantata 57 is a new 140 energy hand cannon added to Destiny 2 as part of the Witch Queen DLC. This hand cannon is an absolute unit in PvP, allowing you to take out guardians left, right and centre. Well today I'm going to check out the Cantata 57 in a little bit more detail, look at the stats, the perks, the god roll guide for PvE and PvP, plus also how to get the Cantata 57 in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, the Cantata 57 is a legendary energy hand cannon. It's got an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. Looking at the stats, we've got a whopping 84 for impact, 51 for range. 56 for stability, 57 for handling, 51 for reload speed. It's a 140 rounds per minute hand cannon with 11 in the magazine. Well, the Cantata 57 is a very versatile 140 hand cannon and it has to be one of the best in Destiny 2 right now. We've also recently had the Crisis Inverted, and that is a Crucible exclusive weapon, but I think the Cantata 57 could be even better than that one. Now, it feels really quick to use, plus, it packs a real punch whether you're in PvE or in PvP. I think this one is going to be massively popular in PvP, but it does have some really good competition with the Palindrome and also the Waking Vigil too. So this very much feels like the Waking Vigil when it first came out, so I think if you play PvP, you're going to be seeing a lot of this weapon. Well, the Cantata 57 also has the basic origin trait of the Sura Synergy, and this is where reloading grants the weapon bonus handling and also reduces incoming flinch for a short time. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Cantata 57 God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Corkscrew Rifling, Tactical Mag, Rapid Hit, and Vorpal Weapon would be a decent roll. So for Corkscrew Rifling, you get slightly increased range and stability, and also slightly increases the handling speed. And Tactical Mag slightly increases the stability, increases the reload speed, and also slightly increases the magazine size too. Rapid Hit is where Rapid Precision Hits temporarily increases the stability and the reload speed. And finally, you've got the classic Vorpal Weapon, so increased damage against bosses, vehicles and guardians in their super. For PvP, small bore, accurized rounds, eye of the storm and rangefinder would be a decent roll. And also opening shot is a good alternative to rangefinder too. So with small bore you get an increased range and stability. And accurized rounds again increases range, always good for hand cannons in PvP. Then we've got the eye of the storm, so this weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. And finally, you've got Range Finder, so aiming with this weapon increases its effective range and also the zoom magnification. Well, finally today, let's have a look at how to get the Cantata 57 in Destiny 2. Well, to get this hand cannon, it is a world drop weapon, meaning it can come from a bunch of activities like ranking up at Banshee 44 in the tower, completing quests, public events and also lost sectors, and also ranking up at vendors around the planets and the moons. So I had some luck ranking up at Finch on the throne world, so I ranked up to level 30, picked up all the rewards at the same time, he showered me with loot, and I did get a couple of the Cantata 57s. So given it's in the world loot pool, it should be fairly easy to get, you just have to have a little bit of luck. Well this one looks like it's going to be super popular in PvP, and I'd love to hear what you think, and let me know down in the comments what you think of the Cantata 57, and also let me know your favourite role. Well that is it for this guide for how to get the Cantata 57 in Destiny 2, and as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.